are going to start into a cross-legged seated position. Come into a nice comfy seat. Grinding your sit bones, sitting up tall into the spine. We're gonna start um, by taking eagle arms. So we're gonna wrap the left arm underneath the right first and then bring the palms together if you can. If that's too uncomfortable, you can just take hold of the shoulders. Bring the palms together as you take a breath in. Lift the chest up so we create a nice opening into the chest and extension into the spine. And then as you exhale, draw the elbows towards your belly button, rounding through the spine, contracting into the belly. And then we'll just keep moving to breath through two more rounds. Inhale to open back up into the chest. Exhale, round through the spine, draw the elbows towards the belly. One more, inhale. Exhale. And then come back to a neutral spine and we'll switch it to the other side. Wrapping the right arm under the left, bring the palms together. Lift up through the elbows first, lifting the chest as you take a deep breath in. And exhale, round through the spine, elbows towards the belly button. Inhale, open back up. Exhale. One more, inhale, lift the chest, lift the elbows. Exhale, draw the elbows in towards the belly. Good, come back to a neutral spine. Just roll out the shoulders, back and forward. And we'll come onto our hands and our knees to a tabletop position. Stacking the shoulders over the wrist, stacking the hips over the knees, and we'll just um, start to warm up into our wrists. We're gonna just start to draw some nice circles to the left. Keep the arms nice and straight. Wrapping the triceps back. Really press down through the fingertips, through the inner aspects of the wrist, and just start to build a little flexibility into the wrists and the forearms here as well. And change direction, circle to the right. And turn the fingertips out sideways, go from side to side. And keep walking the fingertips all the way around to face towards the kneecaps. We're gonna shift it back, sink the hips back, palms lift off the ground, press the biceps forward and forward for five. Sink it back, forward for four, back, forward for three, back, last two, sink it back, last one, we're going to hold it for five, three, two, one, and slowly release, come into a little squat onto your mat and just roll out the wrists. And then from here, take the left fingertips down to the ground, peel the right arm up, open up across the chest, reach up through the fingertips, taking a deep breath in and breath out. Take it to the other side, right fingertips down, open up across the chest, gaze up towards the fingertips, deep breath in and release. Coming straight in to our downward facing dog, Plant the palms at the top of the mat, step the feet back, lift the hips up and back. And just take any movement here that you feel like, maybe bending one knee and the other as you come into this first downward facing dog. And then settle into stillness. Find your engagement here and your alignment. Keep spreading the fingers really wide here, grinding down, rooting down through the inner aspect of the wrists creating a really firm foundation here and then press the ground away with the palms of the hands create a nice long line of extension into the spine as you lift up through the hips feel the shoulders opening as you bring the chest in line with the shoulders melting the chest back towards the thighs grounding the heels towards the ground bending the knees if you need to here if you're tied into the hamstrings and just tuning into your breath here feel the breath into the belly, feel the breath is really soft and smooth in and out through the nose, 
perhaps starting to cultivate your ujjayi pranayama that victorious breath creating nice long thin audible lines of breath that are really calming when we put ourselves through the effort of the practice when we put our bodies through a bit of stress perhaps through a little bit of discomfort finding that breath to help you stay calm to help you stay focused and intentional take one more deep breath in and breath out next breath in raise the right leg high to your three-legged dog as you exhale bend the right knee open the right hip just draw some nice circles of the hip here getting into the rotator of the hip change direction circle the other way and then open up here stacking the hips pull that right knee high towards the ceiling squeeze into the right glute plug down through the left heel keep pressing the ground away with the palms of the hands holding it here one deep breath in and breath out inhale straighten the right leg as you exhale tiger curl the knee to the nose pull it in really round through the spine inhale press it back for five exhale knee to the nose moving dynamically inhale press it back knee to the nose press it back two more knee to the nose press it back last one knee to the nose hold it here squeeze it in round through the spine press the ground away for five four three two one from here step the right foot forward between the palms drop the back knee down to the ground as you inhale come to your low lunge reaching both arms up melt the hips forward squeeze into the left glute lift up into the chest and then from here wrap the left arm under the right taking your eagle arms lift up through the chest a little bit more lift up through the elbows holding it here deep breath in and breath out one more inhale on the exhale we're going to slide onto the front heel flex the foot and then you're going to round through the spine during the elbows down towards the right knee folding forward we're going to move to breath here as you inhale bend into the right knee back to your lunge lift up into the chest lift the elbows exhale slide onto the front heel flex the foot pull against that front heel inhale open it back up through the chest not through the arms exhale slide onto the front heel half split inhale bring it back release the arms plant the palms straighten the back leg as you lift the back knee off the ground straighten the front leg as well here just for a moment pulling that outer right hip back and drawing the front of the left hip forward holding it here deep breath in and breath out from here pivot the right foot in and start to walk the hands to the middle coming into a nice wide legged straddle come to like a halfway lift position with the fingertips underneath the shoulders taking a deep breath in on the breath out fold it down inhale come back halfway exhale fold it down one more inhale exhale fold it down and hold it here just for about five breaths making maybe walking the hands all the way back behind you pulling the hands against the ground drawing that crown of your head down towards the ground keep the legs nice and active here keep breathing one more breath in on the breath out walk the hands back bend into your left knee straighten the right leg bring the toes to point up towards the ceiling flexing the foot into skandasana take the left fingertips down to the ground peel the right arm up open up across the chest looking up towards the right fingers holding it here really opening up deep into the hips one more breath in now we're going to make our way to the front of the mat keep the butt nice and low as you make the way to the front bending into the right knee plant the palms framing the right foot step the right foot back to your high plank hold your high plank here just establishing this really nice solid plank shoulders stacking over the wrist wrap the triceps back puff the upper back up towards the ceiling so we're protracting into the shoulders tuck the tail under engage into the core squeeze the glutes 
Squeeze the inner thighs, holding it here for another five, four, three, two, one. Lean forward, shoulders come right over the fingertips. Bend the arms, slowly lower all the way down, dropping the knees if you need to here, all the way onto the belly. Flatten the tops of the feet. Cobra. Exhale, melt the chest down. Really squeeze the glutes. We'll do two more. Inhale. Exhale. Last one. And release. Tuck the toes under. Come back to your downward facing dog. Lifting the hips up and back. On the breath in, raise the left leg high. Three legged dog. Exhale, bend the left knee, open the left hip. And then start with your circles. Change direction, circle the other way. And just taking that really nice movement into the hip. And then stack the hips, rolling it open, squeeze into the left glute, lift the left knee high towards the ceiling, press the ground away with the palms of the hands, deep breath in and breath out. Inhale, straighten the left leg. Dynamically, knee to the nose as you exhale, crunch it in. Inhale, press it back. Again, knee to the nose. Inhale, press it back. Last one. Oh no, sorry, three more. Knee to the nose. Press it back. Last two. Press it back. One more. Press it back. Three legged dog. Oh, I'm sorry, we'll do one more. Squeeze the knee into the nose. Hold it here for five, four, three two, one, step the left foot forward between the palms, drop the back knee down, come to your low lunge. Sorry, we did an extra crunch on that side. That's okay, as long as we're not doing less. Melting the hips forward, squeeze into the right glute, wrap the right arm under the left, come to your eagle arms, lift up through the elbows, taking a deep breath in, on the breath out, slide, onto the front heel, fold forward, during the knee, sorry, the elbows down towards the knee. Inhale, bend into the front knee, open back up into the chest. Exhale, slide onto the front heel, fold it forward. Inhale, bend into the front knee. Exhale, Adha Hanumanasana, onto the front heel, pull back on that heel, bend into the front knee, release the arms, frame the left foot, lift the back knee off the ground, Spin the back foot flat, pivot the left foot in, coming to your wide-legged straddle. This time, plant the right palm underneath the right shoulder and then peel the left arm up so we're taking a nice twist. Reach up through the fingers, gazing up, deep breath in. On the breath out, lower the left palm, peel the right arm up. One deep breath in. Exhale, lower the right palm. Fold it down. Maybe walk the hands back, taking about five breaths here. One more breath in. And breath out. Walk the hands back, bend into the right knee, straighten the left leg, come to your skandasana. Opening up into the chest, gazing up towards the left fingers. Try and rotate that inner left thigh up towards the ceiling so we're really opening up. Try and lift up through the chest. One more breath in. And then bending into the left knee as you come to the top of the mat, plant the palms, step the left foot back, coming to high plank, stacking the shoulders over the wrist, holding it here. Really find that engagement, find that protraction into the shoulders, lifting the upper back up towards the ceiling, wrapping the triceps back, elbow creases facing forward, engage into the legs, engage into the core for another five, four, three, two, one. Lean forward, bend the arms slowly lower, all the way down onto the belly, another three, Cobras, inhale to peel the chest. Exhale, melt the chest down. Inhale. Exhale. One more, inhale. 
Exhale, melt the chest down, tuck the toes under, back to downward facing dog. Let's take a few moments here. And we're going to flow through about three rounds of Sun Salutation A of Suya Namaskar A. Connecting movement to breath, lift the heels, bend the knees, gaze forward, step or jump to the top of the mat, coming to halfway lift as you take a breath in, nice flat back, as you exhale, fold forward, belly and chest to the thighs, press down through the feet as you come all the way up to standing, inhale, reach the arms up, Urdhva Hastasana, exhale, bow forward, Uttanasana, forward fold, Inhale to halfway lift, Urdhva Mukha Uttanasana. Exhale, plant the palms, step or jump back to your Chaturanga, squeezing the elbows in. Inhale, press the ground away, come to upward facing dog, opening up into the chest. Exhale, lift the hips up and back, downward facing dog, taking one deep breath in. And breath out, lift the heels, bend the knees, step or float. Top of the mat, inhale halfway, exhale fold forward, inhale rise up, reach up, gaze up, exhale bow forward, surrender Uttanasana, inhale halfway, exhale plant the palms, step or float, Chaturanga, inhale upward facing dog, Urva. Lift the hips up and back, Adho Mukha Svanasana. One deep breath in. And let the breath go. Lift the heels, bend the knees, step or float, top of the mat. Inhale, create space and lengthen. Exhale, fold it down. Inhale, rise up. Lengthen into the side body. Exhale, bow forward. Tuck the chin towards the chest. Inhale, lengthen the crown of the head towards the front. Exhale, plant the palms, step or float. Chaturanga, squeezing into those glutes and, in, and the core as you lower. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Just take a few moments. Calm back to breath. Slow it back down if it built up. If your heart rate picked up, just notice. And use the power of the breath just to come back to that place of ease. Ease in the body, ease in the breath, ease in the mind. One more deep breath in. And breath out. Next breath in, raise the right leg high. Take a three-legged dog. As you exhale, tiger curl the knee straight into the nose. Step the right foot forward between the palms, come up to a crescent high lunge, Anjaneyasana, inhale as you rise up, Let's find depth into the front knee, engage into the left glute, holding it here, back leg is really engaged, lengthening into the side body, set your focus as you just feel really stable here, grounding down through that front heel, grounding through the ball of the back foot, now from here, wrap the left arm, Underneath the right, take your eagle arms, bring the palms together, lift up through the elbows. Maybe lift the chest a little bit here if you want to come into a little back bend, just for a moment. And now, grinding down through that front foot, we're going to bring all of our weight into the right leg and you're going to pull the left knee up into the chest, balancing on the right standing leg. And then we're going to cross the left leg over the right, come to your eagle, your half eagle or full eagle by wrapping the left foot all the way around the back of the calf, holding it here, nice and steady. Set your focus, your drishti into the forearms. Keep lifting up through the elbows. Feel like you're squeezing the inner thighs and feeling really steady and stable, holding it here. So balance, taking one more breath in and breath out and from here we're going to unravel everything unravel the arms pull the knee back up into the chest reach the arms up and we're going to transition to virabhadrasana two from here extend the left leg back as you bend into the right knee float the left foot back come straight to your virabhadrasana two sink deep into the front knee press into the outer edge of the back foot lengthen the arms set your focus holding it here deep breath in 
and breath out, maybe sink a little deeper, breath in, breath out, one more, inhale, on the breath out, come to Skandasana, bending into the left knee, straightening the right leg, sink it down, maybe again opening up across the chest, just one deep breath in here, on the breath out, look down towards the left foot, and we're going to spin onto the back toes as you plant the right palm beside the left foot. Peel the left arm up into your low twist, opening up into the left rib cage. Back leg really engaged, energized through the left fingers. Now from here, come onto the blade edge of the right foot, transitioning to Kamat Karasana, wild thing. Engage into the right side body as you float the left toes behind you. Lift up into the hips as you reach the left arm towards the front, squeeze into the glutes, holding it here. One more breath in. Look down towards the right hand, pull the left knee in towards the chest, step the left foot forward next to the right hand, come back to your lunge, taking one deep breath in. Exhale, lower the palms, step the left foot back, flowing through your vinyasa all the way back to downward facing dog, moving to your own breath. And we'll move into the other side. Inhale, the left leg high, three-legged dog. Exhale, knee to the nose. Step the left foot forward, come to your lunge. Inhale to rise up. Find your depth, holding it here. Holding all of these poses just to find that stillness, find that stability. And then we're gonna move through the sequence again, but we're gonna to move to breath. So we're gonna move really dynamically after this. Wrap the right arm under the left, come to your eagle. Maybe taking a little back bend just for a moment. And now set your focus, ground down through the left standing leg, pull the right knee up into the chest, and then come to your eagle, wrapping the right foot all the way around if you want to come to that full eagle. Do what works for you, holding it here. Steady the breath, moving the mind from distraction to direction here. One more breath in, and breath out. Unravel everything, pulling the right knee back up into the chest, and then extend the right leg back as you bend into the left knee, landing Virabhadrasana two, holding it here. Find that depth. Back leg is straight and strong. Even squeeze into the glutes here and add a little tail tuck to help engage into the core, holding it here. One more breath in. Come to Skandasana, bending into the right knee, sinking it down, lifting up into the chest, maybe opening up across the chest like we did on the other side. Just one breath in here. Look down towards the right foot, spin onto the back toes as you plant the left palm beside the right foot. Peel the right arm up into your low twist, opening up into that right rib cage, holding it here. Just one more breath in. Spin onto the blade edge of the left foot, moving to wild thing, engage into the left side body, floating the right toes behind you, lift up into the hips. Get this really nice back bend, as well as this really nice lateral line stretch into the right side body. One more breath in. Look down towards the left hand, pulling the right knee into the chest, step the right foot forward, come to crescent. One breath in. Exhale, lower the palms, step the right foot back, high plank, moving back to downward facing dog, moving now to breath. So we're going to go through that exact same sequence, finding this state of flow in which you just get out of your head, into your body, into your breath, into your heart. Let's do it. Inhale the right leg high. Three-legged dog. Exhale, knee to the nose. Step the right foot forward between the palms. Inhale as you come up to your crescent lunge. Wrap the left arm underneath the right to your eagle arms. Floating into eagle. Ground down through the right leg. Pull the left knee up and then over. Left leg over the right. Come to your eagle, holding it here. Deep breath in. On the breath out. Unravel. Landing. 
in Virabhadrasana 2, straight to Skandasana on the breath in, peeling open if you like. Plant the right palm beside the left foot, spinning onto the back toes. Low twisted lunge, one breath in, spin onto the blade edge of the right foot. Float the left toes behind you. Come so now open your heart for one deep breath in. Exhale, look down. Pull the left knee in towards the chest. Step the left foot forward. Crescent lunge, deep breath in. Exhale, lower the palms. Step the left foot back, high plank. Moving all the way back to your down dog. Inhale, the left leg high. Exhale, knee to the nose. Step it through, crescent lunge. Inhale as you rise up, wrapping the right arm under the left to your eagle, pulling the right knee in to the chest, wrapping the right leg over the left, holding it here, deep breath in. Exhale to warrior two, moving really seamlessly here, straight to Skandasana, one breath in. Plant the left palm to your low twist, peel the right arm up, keep moving, spinning onto the blade edge of the left foot, Float the right toes behind you. Lift up through the hips. Deep breath in here. Exhale. Pull the right knee into the chest. Step the right foot forward. Crescent lunge. Anjaneyasana. One deep breath in. Exhale. Lower the palms. Step the right foot back to high plank. Make your way all the way back to downward facing dog. Taking a little rest. Taking a few breaths. If you want to pause the video and flow through one more round just by yourself, go ahead, maybe putting on your favorite song to flow to, or if you just want to take a few breaths here, we'll just take the time to slow the breath down. Refocus on that smooth, rhythmic breath. Feel the heart rate slowing down. Notice the heat that's built within your body and without your body. And just notice it. No need to judge. Taking one more deep breath in through the nose. Open the mouth, let it all go. And another deep breath in. Let it go. Next, raise the right leg high to a three-legged dog. As you exhale, tiger curl the right knee into the nose for five. Inhale, press it back. Knee to the nose. Press it back. Knee to the nose. Press it back. Last two. Pull it in. Really round through the spine. Press it back. Last one. Pull it in. Hold it here. And then from here, draw the right knee over to the left tricep so we're really twisting here and you're going to keep that knee pulling in towards the chest as you peel the left arm up and then from here we're going to cross the right leg over into a half eagle with our legs and then from here you're going to bend the left knee sink the butt down towards the left heel and then we're going to extend it back out and then you're going to plant the left palm Keeping that eagle leg lean forward, bend the arms halfway down, chaturanga, and then press it back up to this high plank. Spin onto the flat of the left foot, peel the left arm up. Again, sink the butt down towards the heel, extend it back out, plant the left palm, lean forward, bend the arms halfway, press it back up, high plank, spin the back foot flat, lift the left arm, sink the butt, extend it back out, Plant the left palm, lean forward, halfway down. Press up, just two more. Spin onto the flat of the left foot, sink the butt towards the left heel. Straighten it back out. Plant the left palm, lean forward, bend the arms halfway. Press it back up. Last one, you've got this. Sink the butt, bending the left knee. Straighten, plant the left palm, lean forward, bend the arms halfway. Press it back up. Whew, lift the hips up and back to down dog. Up. Lift the right leg to a three-legged dog, taking a deep breath in. On the breath out, bend the right knee, open the hip. Look forward, coming to a half pigeon. 
draw the right shin across the top of the mat, extend the left leg back, flex the left foot, squaring off the hips, place something underneath the right butt if you need to. Whew, and I'm so out of breath now. Hopefully you are too. We're gonna melt it down and rest it here for about a minute just to recover. Just allowing yourself to go inward after all of that super dynamic movement, just finding this stillness. Last couple of breaths before we do it on the other side. And it's just a few minutes of effort before we find this stillness again. Always finding this beautiful balance between movement and stillness. That's what I love about this practice. Walk the hands back, lift up through the chest, coming back to down dog. Take a little movement if you need to, walking it out. And let's do it. Let's do the other side. Lift the left leg high, three-legged dog, knee to the nose for five. Pull it in, press it back. Knee to the nose, press it back. Last three, knee to the nose, press it back. Two more, press it back. Last one, knee to the nose. Pull the left knee across to the right tricep, pulling the knee into the chest, spin onto the flat of the right foot, peel the right arm up into like this modified um, fallen triangle, then cross the left leg over the right into a half eagle, bend the right knee, sink the butt down towards the right heel, straighten the right leg, plant the right palm, lean forward, lower halfway down, press back up, high plank, and we've got another four to go. Sink the butt down towards the right heel. Straighten it back out. Lower the right palm, lean forward, halfway down. Press it back up, high plank. Flat of the right foot, sink the butt down. Straighten it back out. Plant the right palm, lean forward, halfway down. Squeeze those elbows in. Press it back up, high plank. Flat of the right foot, sink the butt down. Straighten it back out. Plant the right palm, lean forward. Bend the arms halfway. Press it back up, last one. We're almost there. Sink the butt down, straighten it back out. Plant the right palm, lean forward, halfway down. Press it back up, lift the hips up and back to a down dog, unravel the left leg, come to three-legged dog, deep breath in. Open the left hip, look forward to your half pigeon. Draw the left shin across the top of the mat, flex the left foot squaring off the hips, doing what you need to do to make this pose accessible and comfortable for you. And then surrendering it down and slowing everything down. And every time you notice your focus moving away from what's going on right here, right now, notice the mind wandering away into the past or into the future or into other worries or concerns. Notice that. And as soon as you notice, just bring yourself back to something in this moment, to the feeling of your breath, to the sensations that are arising in the body, bring the focus. Just be here. One 
one more deep breath in and breath out walk the hands back sink onto the left side swing the right leg around in front just give the knees a little windshield wipe if you're not sweaty from that you must be super fit because I am sweating and I am out of breath it's a good good workout finding that flow let's come down onto our backs hug the knees into the chest take hold of the outer edges of the feet come into a little happy baby pulling the knees down towards the armpits if you want to rock from side to side go for it if you just want to be still think of lengthening the tailbone down towards the ground and just feel the belly becoming really soft feeling the breath into the belly one more deep breath in and breath out pull the knees into the chest reach both arms out to either side cross the right leg over the left half eagle with the legs or full eagle and then drop both knees over to the left gaze over to the right And with each breath out, just feel yourself releasing deeper into this twist, completely letting go. One more deep breath in. And breath out. Come back to center, unravel, cross the left leg over the right, drop both knees over to the right. Taking deep breaths in to the belly. And out, feeling that release. One more deep breath in. And out, come back to center, unravel the legs and land in your final resting pose, your Shavasana, completely letting go as you just let the feet drop naturally out to the sides, allow everything to soften, the shoulders, the hips sinking towards the ground, everything just feels heavy as you find this completely relaxed state and even relax your breath. Not really trying to breathe in any particular way, just letting the natural process of the breath arise and you simply follow it and feel it. Feel it as your anchor to this moment. <laughs> 